let's do a little unboxing. Now, I think I can probably attribute, blame, I don't know, blame's probably not the right word, attribute this tank to uh, Paul Stingray in uh, Australia. And the reason I say that is he did an unboxing. It's got to be two, three months ago of a small tank that was similar to this. And I went looking and I think it probably a Dymax tank. And we don't get a lot of Dymax here. And I went looking on Google and what I came up with was the closest thing would be this tank on Amazon. And at the time it was about, it was either about $75 or $78. And I, I put it in my cart and just left it there saved for later. And uh, about a week ago, I went to my cart. I was buying something else. And you know how Amazon will put that notification that these prices have gone up and these prices have gone down. And this thing dropped to $62 and change. And I hit go. It's It seems like a cool little tank. It's a Marine Land tank. This is the only thing I have uh, with the Marine Land label on it. We'll see. It says it's portrait style. That means it's a vertical tank instead of a horizontal tank, which would probably be landscape style. And we're, hey, that's photography terms. I have no idea why they're doing that. Uh, hidden filtration, it's in the back. Uh, daylight and moonlight settings, what's it say there? Uh, energy LED efficient, five gallons and something. Right size, I don't know what the Z's for. Uh, filter cartridge. So we'll turn this thing around a little bit. And what do we got here? The lighting system. And I'm not going to read all this. Uh, am I? Yeah. Uh, LED lighting system, bright white and blue LEDs show off the aquarium in the best light. Hinged light allows for easy access to the tank. And then natural daylight effect. And you can hit the pause button and stop and read these. Moonlight effect, earth and budget friendly. Yeah, it was certainly more budget friendly when they dropped the price over $10. Let's see what's this one say. Mechanical filtration, uh, chemical filtration, and biological filtration. And here's the advanced filtration blurb. And this is a rounded corner tank. So this is kind of cool. And it's glass. Got here, portrait. So the dimensions are, yeah, I can't really see that. 17.2 uh, inches tall, 9.65 inches wide, uh, deep, I'm guessing front to back. Uh, it looks like it's a, it is a square footprint, all right. And then on this side, Aquarium Success Made Easy, a Marine Land. Uh, when I was a kid, there was actually a place called Marine Land, uh, Palos Verdes Peninsula in Southern California considerations and helpful hints to get started. What are they selling? So anyway, uh, treat water, yep, okay. And again, I'm just gonna let you guys read this. Here's number two, and this is probably some of the additional purchase stuff. Uh, heat and aerate, all right. Uh, decorate, yep, plants are nice. And this will be my plan here, and I believe it's a cutting plan will be to set this up uh, with plants and shrimp and maybe a couple little endlers. And we will we'll take it from there. So I'm gonna unbox this, then we'll take another look. All right, well, at least the lid's open. And uh, there's the glass lid with instructions and other information. And it's a it's stout piece of glass and, and yeah, it weighs, weighs substantial. And it's uh, beveled edges, so it's nice and smooth. And I'm going to take this lid out. Let's pull the paperwork out without dropping the lid, because that would really suck. Let's get that out, and we'll see what we got here. And I see a lot of people just pitch the instructions for stuff. I'm not going to do that, because I'm not that cool. Uh, important safeguards, I'll read that. And then how to set up your tank, I'm assuming. Um, orchard Aquarium with hidden filtration for optimum performance. Replace filter cartridge monthly. Yeah, now there's one of those things. They want to sell those. Um, perform monthly water changes. Test water weekly to monitor water chemistry. 
Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this one. I think that's more gimmick than anything, but that's my two cents. So as always, you gotta do what makes you comfortable. So let's see, on the inside fold, we got troubleshooting guidelines, how to, how to, how to adjust the flow of the pump, how to access the impeller, how to perform water. Yeah, we know how to do water changes, most of us. How to feed your fish, probably pretty good at that too. And change your cartridge. And there's some more bits and pieces down here. Uh, and this looks like uh, the impeller and uh, pump speed. And remove plastic tab on the cartridge. And again, you can always, uh, if you want to read all this, you can, as I come across it, you can hit pause. All right, let me go back up and pick up uh, one again because I kind of went fast. And then the parts check. And that was two. Okay, so three, so they're going out of order. Okay, and four. And then five. And replacing the parts list, limited warranty, call these people, Marineland, Cincinnati, Ohio, and call for questions or missing parts. All right, well, there's a little base that was at the bottom. Tank will sit on that. It was packed well with uh, styrofoam around it. Let's reach in and grab the part of the light here. We don't want to drop anything back in. The glass feels like it's pretty stout. It's beautiful, really. It's uh, nice and rounded. Beveled edges. A little bit of that plastic stuff on the back here. That's the back lid. Let's see what we got down here. We got the cat down there. She's, she's probably dead because She's been wanting food the whole time. And the area where the filter goes, so we'll take that apart. Um, somewhere down in here is a cord and the pump. So that should be fun to get to. I'm not sure how that all comes out, but we'll figure that out at some point here. Um, because the cord can't be underwater, that would not make sense. So we'll get that out. All right, well, I was able to get the pump out. That's a little flow control on the pump. Turn it from plus to minus to speed up or slow down the flow. Um, and then this, once this is dropped into the bottom, little suction cups hold it in place. I've never had one of these, so I guess it's kind of like a little spray puts the water back into the tank and it's on a little knuckle. So it, it adjusts here. And then this part will have to turn back down and that'll go into the up tube, the uplift tube. And the only thing I'm not sure, I put that cartridge back into the tank here. It doesn't seem like the sponge wants to cover the hole this way. And the sponge sits on the back here. The alternative would be, so I guess the water, where are we here? The water comes through here up and over, and that looks like it might be an overflow, and then back down on top of the sponge, and then through the bottom down there, there's, a, there's an outlet, and then into this well area where the, the pump goes. This is all new to me. I'm gonna to have to read the instructions, see what they say. And I wanna put shrimp in here, that's the goal. Just, uh, I'm not sure, maybe some of those yellow uh, golden backs that I have, or maybe some orange uh, Sunkist, I'm not sure. Something that's gonna pop. This one's gonna sit on a table in my office. So here is the light switch. And then in this little box will be the, the wall wart, the little transformer. And here's the light, the LED light. And we need to get this out. Well, there's the light fixture on top. 
okay? And it hinges up to get out of the way to get into the filter. And I'm guessing you could probably also stuff a small uh, heater back there instead of having it in the tank. And I think also this would require some sort of cover inside possibly the intake uh, to keep shrimp out if I'm putting shrimp in here. So I don't know, we'll figure that out. And then the switch, you know, we'll just close the lid here. The switch is a little three-way rocker switch. So in one position, it's blue. In the middle position, it's off. And then in the other position, it's white. And I guess white with a little bit of blue. And there's no other controls on it, which is okay, I suppose. I like the idea of being able to ramp up and ramp down. Doesn't always work that way though, does it? And let's see, we gotta get this little stand underneath it, see what that looks like. So there it is on the stand. Gives you a neat little recess underneath there. And I'm guessing because of that, you don't really need any pad underneath it. Uh, and it even uh, is kind enough to say this side up because it almost looked like it would go the other way, a little pedestal. But it's a nice little pedestal stand. And I've got to center it, but that'll work. So in the meantime, I think there we go for an unboxing of this cool little marine land portrait. Beyond that, I don't know, five-gallon tank. It's kind of cool, kind of a little vertical five gallon. Doesn't look like it's whole. Yeah, I guess maybe the five gallon area. I'll have to measure that, you know, from uh, five gallons of usable area. So from uh, the filter forward, uh, side to side, top to bottom. And we'll, we'll see, we'll see what that comes out to. Um, and I'll put that in the video here. I do like the curved glass the curved edges, it's kind of sexy. Now if I can do a nice, uh, a nice scape for it to make, make up for it, we'll be good. So anyway, like I always say, I appreciate you, appreciate your comments, and thanks for looking.